Guys, check this out, man. Look how cool this is. The entire boat is carbon. No fiber. way. So this whole thing is carbon fiber. We have the only vessel on the water that you could hook a Tesla fast charger to charge it now. Like right now, for example, if I want a foil, I'll throw that one up. It feels like you're flying. This is like a video game. It is. If there is a five years old, they will do a better job than me. Pricing more or less ballpark just to give people an idea. No wake, no nothing. Look at that. As we're going on a, a crazy sea trip, I've never been on a boat like this before. We've seen this thing scooting around in the in the river out here, and I was wondering where it was, so I found it. Check this crazy thing out. Look at this. It's a hydrofoil boat. It's called a Navier. It just looks wild. Look at this thing. Tom. Tell me what you need. Chris. They look, they look forward to it. Because this thing is wild. Like, look at this thing. It's got electric motors. And we're going to talk about that in a second. But I just want to take this all in. Because this is such a cool looking boat. And guys, uh, this is a prototype, prototype number two, the second boat built. So this is a boat that's three years old and they use it to showcase this. It's not a, a, a for sale boat. So this boat has been used. It's just uh, it's just made to show off at events like this today. You know, it's not a boat for sale. So first thing you notice that I noticed coming off here, it's a, it's a pretty wide boat. It feels like it's maybe, you know, an eight and a half, nine foot beam maybe. Yeah, just about. It has this really nice platform back here. A lot of space because there's not much yeah, motors here so i'll get some more info from them uh, now i know nothing about this boat i love yeah. this style boat yeah so you get away from the elements and stuff oh absolutely yeah is and it ac and stuff keep in mind in yeah. the production boat it is yeah. this one is not not. This one. okay you're not gonna need it not now not today yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's, a, it's pretty cool in the in the it, wind it is. Yeah. um but uh yeah this is a bare bones vessel mm -hmm. uh for test and production only yeah. This is also the original uh, test drivetrain. Okay. And that's all storage down there? Say again? That's all storage down there? That's cool. So it's a big pod, yeah. Yeah, big pod. Now, keep in mind, in the production vessel, that is finished. Yeah, yeah. Um, John, I noticed something because I, since I work with fiberglass. Please. Is that carbon fiber? The entire boat is carbon no fiber. No way. So this whole thing is carbon fiber. You're standing on a 6,400 pound vessel. And how big is it overall? Because I don't even know how big this thing is. 30 feet. So it's a 30 foot boat that weighs 6,400 pounds complete. Fully loaded. That's insane. It is it's next complete. to insane. Yeah, I mean, guys, mm -hmm. uh, carbon fiber is like the best of the best. You know, that's like what they use in race cars, that planes. So this is a carbon fiber boat. This is awesome. Look at this thing. So right now he's showing joystick capability. Right. And the joysticks, obviously you've seen plenty of joysticks, uh -huh. but with electric capability. Right. Um, now, what type of system do you guys use for that joystick capability? Is there a special program that you guys use? Yeah, it's a great question. Yeah, yeah, I'll ask Chris, okay. Yeah, so Chris Chris is the uh, the person who built the boat, right? He assembled the boat? He assembled this boat. Chris has been, uh, you know, uh, on, on the team for many years, mm -hmm. and he is absolutely phenomenal at what he does. Yeah. He knows this specific boat, like the back of his hand. I bet. And can drive it with uh, incredible precision. So you hear it underway right now. It yeah. is next next level wide. Yeah. Let's walk behind him real quick. Guys, you guys know Alfred? Uh, we're just going to be enjoying a good time. Oh, this is nice. Check here. this out. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. The engine it's, noise is gone. Now, like you're on a rowboat or something. Absolutely. Yeah. Now you want to see something neat. Um, when he's done interviewing, I'll have a conversation with Chris at this level right here. Yeah. And he'll respond while yeah, yeah. underway at full foil. Yeah. You and I can speak like this. Yeah, we were when we were um, on the other boat earlier, we saw you guys zipping around and we couldn't hear you guys next to us. Yeah. And you guys make no wake. No. It's like a kayak one by. It is. Is there like a standard model you plan on selling or is it fully customizable or you know so how most boat builders have like a base model and stuff? We, we do. I mean, this is our current model. Without releasing too much information, sure, I'll sure. simply say there are models in the future uh, that are currently the awesome. Yeah. And this is currently the, the thirty footer is this the only is one you guys have right now. Called the N thirty. N thirty. And how do you say the name of the company? Navier. Navier. Got it. So at what at what point does the foil actually take over and 
the boat gets up on a, 16, I guess, a plane. 16 knots. 16 knots. And before that, it's just, just like it, how it is now. Displacement. I can't wait. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how this how this rides. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, because I'm curious about like the, I was gonna say fuel consumption, but uh, you know, electrical consumption. How you charge this? Like, how would so, somebody charge it? Let's then? talk. Let's talk about sure. that I, with regards to charging specifically. So, you can take 50 amp. Uh, shore power. 50 amp shore power, and you can uh, charge it overnight. Mm -hmm. it takes about six hours okay. for full charge. We have the only vessel on the water that you could hook a Tesla fast charger to. Really? Just charge it now. So if you have one of these houses like these up here out on the water, you just run a line to your boat and plug it in and you're good to go. That's it. That's one amazing. Out. And as far as uh, the range that you can have on this house. 75 how? nautical miles. 75 miles. The largest of any electric boat in the, in the, in, in the field, period. Wow. In an average day, you're going to go from point A to point B. You're going to stay at point B for a long time. Then you're going to take the boat. You're going to tool around a little bit. You're going to spend 30 minutes, maybe an hour tops. 30 minutes at full foil and having a great time. You come back and you're at 70%. That's super Remember, cool. on foil, you're reserving energy. You're not, you don't have any resistance. Yeah. The resistance is greatly reduced. Yeah. So Right now is when the most resistance is. That's it. So at foil, you're only operating at 20 to 30% of power. That's incredible. Uh, top speeds, what are we looking at? So, um, and do confirm this with yeah. Chris, please. Sure. You are foiling at 16 knots. We average uh, at 20 knots. Cru optimum fast cruise is at 24 knots. Okay. Top speed at 30 knots. I want you to be foil, yes. This is Chris. Foil in a bit. Uh, I would say like a couple of days, guys, you know, right? Like once we go and foil, if we go through some big wake, for example, that boat is meant to go through a middle of seas without any issues and like even a little, a little over, I would foil. say. Uh, I want to basically to be prepared, not like, for example, stress if we try to take a wake or something. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is like right now, for example, if I want to foil, all I got to do is just like throttle up. And once I throttle up, the flight computer will take off. So this is like 14, 15, 16. And now if you guys turn around, there is no more wake behind us. So we can just lay here and our life. And look so at the another, the another thing that I want you guys to notice. So it banks naturally, so it does like a coordinated turn. Uh, it matches the radius of turning with the radius of making, so the G can be down to the ground and you don't feel, for example, the G. Yeah, Mike, what I was going to ask um, John is as far as wakes going waves, what is this yeah, operator? Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a huge. Yeah. You don't feel it. You don't feel anything. So you're not. Yeah, feeling anything. the cameras don't justify. Yeah, they uh, never do. Yeah, the cameras never justify. Don't justify it. that. So cool. It feels like we're flying. There we go. We got some some, some waves of an anchor. Barely a dip. And that, you can see the way to be incredible. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, Chris, John was telling me that um, top speed is somewhere around like 24 knots around there. Is that right? No, top speed is actually 30 knots. 30? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 30 knots, that's right. That's what I think that's what he mentioned. And Chris, uh, is this, do you guys have a, a specific system that, like a management system for for the engines to, to work with all this? Is it a specific? So this is like our, like for example, software, which is running on the left, on the port screen. Got it. Um, and like, as you see, you can see, for example, uh, a lot of the feedback from yeah. the autopilot. Yeah, we're back. That it gives us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I see. I see what he was saying earlier is that when you get off of uh, foil and you go into the water, you don't feel anything. Yeah. It's very, very smooth. It's is that really something easy. designed by you guys? You designed this? So we do buy the hardware. We do run the software on the background that talks to our. Cool. Now, John um, had mentioned to me that you would know this. Um, what type of motors are these? So they're like a 90 kilowatt pick. Okay. Um, which is equivalent to like 110, 120 horsepower. 
um, we don't need any of that power once we're falling. So for yeah. example, when I'm here in the boat, pushing like, you know, in a perfect conditions, like really 20 knots, right. or I will be using less than 40 horsepower, like less than 20 horsepower so on each that, of motors. It's that efficient. It's that efficient. That's incredible. So the name of the game here is efficiency, mm -hmm. and that's what we're going up. Now, where do you guys keep all the batteries for this? So the batteries are behind that door under the deck. Okay. Uh, that's where it's made with hatch. Of course, it's stored mm -hmm. away for yeah. people. Yeah, so we have like three coils. We have a canard, and we have like two coils in the back. We are controlling the whole boat. Like, if we're capable, we have like huge control over the boat. Like, when we're making that U turn, we were like completely stable. Yeah. Um, that turn was with 20, 25 knots when I went into it. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the option for our ACs in some of the boats. Mm -hmm. uh, this one specifically, again, we designed that boat and most people will not really understand that, but mm -hmm. like from sketch to being on the water, like our first boat was there in 11 months. That's incredible. That fast. That usually takes years. That's correct. Oh, you guys, you guys really wanted to put it out. Is all this, is this customizable for somebody that would want to buy one? Like yeah. the interior, can they design yeah. their interior, right? Yeah. So they can have a layout that's a little bit different than this. Um, I don't know about the layout, mm -hmm. but you can definitely like uh, get like a nicer and more premium options. Yeah. Okay. And again, like this is again the prototype. The production yeah. boats they are a little different. Like yeah. for example, ceiling is different. Production boats they do have like a separate window. So okay. Then it's like a pop-up window on the top, for example, for it, or mm -hmm. like they can add AC, for example. You can have the option for a head in there. Okay. Um, they're just a little bit taller. For example, for people like you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even me, I'm six foot tall, and I'm I'm not even barely touching. So I think yeah. that's for most people. I think that would yeah. be good. So yeah. to my point, like production boat, they're a little bit different than okay. this boat. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more polished, and yeah. And this boat has a wrap on it, correct? I think you mentioned it was a wrap. Uh, this one is yeah. wrapped. Yeah. Right now. Uh, it's. I like this wrap. But yeah, I think it's cool. I think it gives it like almost. Like I a military would say look. like I do prefer the original color of that boat. It's what, like way more like. What color is the original color? Um, you can see it. What's oh, this? Like this uh, dark, dark gray, right? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's like very stealth, right? Stealth looking, yeah. Like most of the people when they see our boat, they think it's a uh, like a uh, render. <laughs> so one nice thing about well, there's many, many, many things yeah. that they're nice about this boat. Like for example. You can just activate the joystick and you can just press that button and that will be our like for example moon anchor or we call it gps oh cool so you hit that button and it locks you in place yes. automatic so it's gonna go around this boat until we get our stuff um again as i'm saying like this is the easiest boat to drive so so it looks like we have a current going this way right mm -hmm. that would be really hard yeah to how do bothers do that? <laughs> we so pray, we do a lot of praying. This one is like literally a game. It's like, and I did turn on a little bit more the high mode. So there is option to give you a little bit more torque. In case you get winds or you just want to be snappier. Yeah. Or there is option to get a little bit more precise with your moves. I got you. I'm going to put you right back here so people can see how the boat moves. This is like a video game. It is. If there is a five years old, they will do a better job than me. Oh, listen, cool listen, if this technology is around in five years, I will lose my business, guys. That, I, I just told them that. I, I can't have them. guys like Chris taking over my business. It's not me. No, listen, this is this is crazy, guys. Hey, this guy just parked. He just parked everything here. Um, I don't even want to do this video anymore. <laughs> guys, I'm not doing this video on this boat. Wait for it. What do you think, Alfred? Um, they can't understand. Yeah, there's no how explaining. Mind blowing this is until they're on it. Yeah. When you're on it, then you can say, <sighs> yeah. And the fact that they're, they, they that? have the most range possible yeah. in the industry at yeah. this moment. That's crazy. Big. Uh, where can they find you guys online? And I, I, I don't know if you guys want to talk about pricing more or less ballpark just to give people an idea. So just an idea. Currently, the boat is at eight fifty. Okay. Starting. Okay. All right. Nicely outfitted at just under a million. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's not going to last long. It is going to go up quite quickly. Yeah. So keep that in mind. 
uh, with regards to how you get in touch with us. My first name is John Mark. My last name is Basada. You can reach me at 770-401-4105. You guys heard it from John. Uh, thank you very much, John, and thank you very much, Chris, for taking us out. We really appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think this might be, I don't know, the future of boating. Do you guys think that this might take over in the future, or are we going to stick to fiberglass and aluminum monoholes and catamaran holes? I don't know. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um, I thought it was super cool, and I'll see you guys in the next one.